certainly a lot to talk about, a lot to unpack. Joining me for that and more is Zong Zhang from Shanghai Wenwei Daily. Uh, Zong, I'm going to pose the same question I posed to our correspondent Nathan King. Uh, where does the relationship between China and the United States go from here, and how much of a uh, challenge are these allegations in John Bolton's book, if you will, posed to that relationship? I think uh, the fact that two uh, top diplomats submit. Uh, just uh, yesterday uh, is saying that uh, the both countries are realizing uh, U.S.-China relationship is very critical to each other. And we know now it's uh, election season in America, so uh, we may continue to hear a lot of uh, blame China accusations he, uh, here in America. But uh, I think uh, Mr. Pompeo is, is having uh, the message from uh, President Trump to uh, try to at least keep uh, the bilateral relationship uh, uh, as stable as possible. And also I have noticed uh, Mr. Pompeo, uh, Pompeo was saying this morning that uh, Chinese side recommitted to this phase one trade deal uh, between the two countries, which is quite interesting because uh, we hear uh, President Trump a few weeks back was uh, threatening to, uh, to, to, to uh, sack this uh, trade deal. And uh, uh, this uh, commitment uh, by uh, Yang Jiechi in the meeting is also uh, very uh, significant. It means uh, you, uh, the U.S. side is very much interested to keep uh, the phase one trade deal to continue. And I think uh, uh, after this uh, election season, um, these uh, two governments will have to recalibrate the uh, most important bilateral relations in the world to move ahead. If I could just go back to John Bolton's book and the explosive allegations he makes in this book about President Trump, about his relationship with China, how do you think all of this is playing in Beijing? I mean, we heard from China's foreign ministry basically saying the United States needs to stay out of China's internal affairs, which frankly, Zong, is not anything new. I mean, we've heard that over and over again. Yes, that is uh, China's very consistent uh, uh, kind of position. And also, uh, what China is now feeling a little bit uh, confused is that in China, people believe when the two presidents reached some consensus, when they met, uh, those kind of spirits, those kind of consensus are supposed to be implemented uh, by the two, two governments, like uh, Department of State here and uh, Foreign Ministry in China. But uh, the reality is, well, when President Trump said something, uh, those kind of uh, consensus between him and President Xi are not really happening. So that's what uh, China is feeling uh, confused. So what you uh, hear, what we hear from uh, John Bolton's new book is clearly suggesting that uh, what Pre President Trump was thinking about. I think uh, for China, it's not a bad news. China can, can uh, do to, uh, uh, China can have a kind of constructive relationship with America based on what President Trump is talking about. But again, this is not uh, the final decision from the U.S. side. We see a lot of changes when, uh, when we see the two presidents met uh, in Argentina. Quickly, the uh, position from the United States was changed.